why are we losing more factories? It should be going up. Oh, because people are probably... You know what it is, Germany? I, I was wondering for a while, why did our factories keep going down? You know what it is? Germany's no longer able to even import stuff anymore and they were our biggest import or you know importer of our stuff <laughs> so we lost our biggest export um partner that's funny um okay cool uh it's time to go to war boys it's been a long time coming but uh we're gonna declare war on on the dudes i'm a dude he's a dude she's a dude because we're all dudes yeah i'm a dude um Pink boys can't go yet. I want to... Hold on. I want to go like this and this, just so that it's all three in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Hi, right, boys. Can I get some pog champs in chat? <laughs> no, don't do that yet. Do that once we have won. Poggers. Um, what decision do we have? War propaganda? Yeah, whatever. Oh, we, yeah, we might need that, because we're at war now. One and a half hour of build up, 30 minutes of war, exactly. Hey mom, what's up? <laughs> hmm. I think these sort of events are pretty good. Getting the industrial land appropriation just costs some more support and stability, but we don't need it right now. I mean, yeah, it just gives you a building slot, not a like factory. Um, where isn't there a thing what is it emergency factory conversion that one is actually pretty good i think um but that one is pretty costly too woman in the workforce recruitable population three really oh but you have to have total mobilization interesting that's super cool that can offset like the economic stuff war bonds um hmm interesting yeah never seen some of that stuff before or used it before. Like, the, the woman in the workforce, I don't think I ever looked at that as China. I definitely used the emergency factory conversion and the war bonds, but... Um, okay, well, we need to... Obviously, we need to do some stuff here. Um, we have some over Iberia already. I'd like to put some in southern France. Um, we, should bring, we should bring them over to here. We should do that with more than just that. We should do like close air support in the Iberian region, but also bring more over here. Cool. Uh, Hungary's in the war. Yeah, whatever. Not okay. Um, our factories probably went way down now. Ah, uh, no, not that much. Hey, right, boys. Ugh. When you do close air support, I want both of you guys to do air superiority. That's about it. And interception, I guess, yeah. Um, and then in France, we need to make sure that all of that is checked on. I'll turn off the stuff we don't want, I guess. Okay, cool. Easy money. All right, Finland and joined. Uh, yeah. I'm going to pee in Naples like it's 1490. Exactly, exactly. This guy gets it. Oh my god, no. We've entered the realm of spam. Spam requests. Okay. Well, I mean, we're just going to kind of watch for now. We did, All of their units that we have found are just on the run constantly. I'm just going to let my front lines keep going. They're doing fine right now. So, yeah, can't complain. Can't really complain, mate. There's something I can min-max. Hi, boys. Hey, 
Oh, this is nice. It's nice when you can actually rely on the front lines to do stuff for you and not be terrible. No, 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 I forgot about the factories, yes. Uh, I don't know how I could have forgotten. More equipment. I don't care about that too much. Uh, stability, we should try to get that up. That, well, we get a lot of stuff from the focuses that we're working on now, right? The main, like, political branch. So, I know we get at least some, so, pretty sure. Germany has capitulated. Oh, crap, boys. Well, I mean, at that point, uh, in, at this point... Squish those guys. Yeah, I got resistance, whatever. Those guys are about to get overrun. This Italian exclave should be easy to deal with. Uh, really, I think you guys want to edit this, halt you from any attacks you're doing. Reconvene you on this border and have you guys like do a spearhead full on bum rush towards Genova. There you go. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dash to Rome. Or try to. Yes, aggressive execution of the battle plans. I don't think we really have any reason to be worried right now, so. Okay, you guys need to go, 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 go. Not here, boys. Here's my plan. So, so yeah, like these guys, they can deal with those, you know, squish, squish those guys, squish the remains, wipe out the little bit of resistance. We're going to have this whole army just go along the coast and try to bum rush straight to Rome. Ah, oh, Japan. Uh, and then we try to get the, we'll just have the other, um, like, yellow army just, like, hold this, the, the Po River or the one next to it, whatever. Like, just hold this mountainous and river area. Um, when, well, we probably get assaulted by, like, the Croatians or whoever for a little bit. But just hold that. Meanwhile, we'll sweep down the boot. It's unfortunate all leads, roads lead to Rome. It makes it so easy to conquer it. Exactly. Yeah, I'm literally just going to go, like, wee! <laughs> all the way to Rome. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way to Rome instead of all the way home. You get it? <laughs> you get it? You get it? Oh, oh shit, man! I forgot about this being a thing. Forgot about freaking uh, resources that we would conquer. Oh, it's so good, so good. Noise, so satisfying. And that'll help with the construction, of which we are also getting a lot more factories.
Obviously, this is going to be the first of many wars. <laughs> We're going to have to do another one, probably with the Allies, and then after that, probably with the Soviet Union, you know. Uh, I'm assuming that when the Axis peace deal happens, which is probably going to be sooner than later, well, but Japan, oh, but they're, they're in a different faction, though, but uh, I don't know. Um, when the peace deal happens, it's probably going to be really weird since there's three different factions fighting them. It's so, you know, common turn allies and us we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to take as much as we can we're probably not gonna get that much soviets are gonna eat a ton and get really powerful probably um allies are gonna get all their land back which is gonna be annoying so at that point though what should happen is that the allies france and stuff and belgium and them will be super weak and then we can just sweep in get those guys and then after we consolidate and beat the allies then we can go to the common turn soviet union is probably gonna be the ultimate bad guy it'll be the war of communists you know which communism will we go with? <laughs> so, but uh, in the Soviet Union, the allies might go to war with each other. Who knows? They're not going to like each other too much. I mean, you know. Greater Hungary is capitulatoed. Oh god, our tank is just going at it alone. We don't even got to do anything. But yeah, we really just want to make sure we get ahead of the French so that we keep the occupations, you know? But it looks like we're doing a pretty good job of that. Pretty good job of, like, cutting them off. <laughs> Ally War seems like it needs a mad dash to close off the Suez in a way. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I could see that. I see what you mean. Like, to make it so they can't get into the Mediterranean. That could be useful. Well, I'll think about that. Yeah. So I had sent you guys all the way down there. I don't think that's what we do. I think what we do instead is we go like, we go like this. We put like three there, three there. Someone like this. Yeah, yeah, I do that. Allies. Or, uh, yellow guys, why aren't you freaking pushing harder? It's at mountains, I guess. I could... Yeah, you got an excuse. Sounds like you need some communist during American capital. Oh man, the Soviet Union is a beast. So many factories, I don't know what to do with them. Planes. Oh man, this is an interesting campaign. I mean, honestly, I don't think we need any more in the war with I'm going to guard against France. I'm worried, you know. Okay, boys. Okay, so... And uh, surprisingly, our troops are doing really well. I mean, we are outnumbering them 14 to 1 there, so... I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, huh? Building lots of factories. Get that economy going, you know? It's Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. No, that... I actually hate that song with the... A burning passion. Uh, 
Alright, uh, we've cut off the French. We're gonna try to cut off the Soviets from occupying Italy. It needs to be ours. This is nice. That's my plan, is to make a wall of divisions in a... Uh... Well, so I'm not going to worry about like Venice and stuff. If that gets occupied, it's okay. Uh, really what I'm doing... I'm in Right now, you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm, uh, I'm cutting off the boot right here, so that you'll definitively be able to take the whole rest of the boot. We might lose a little in the north right here, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about pushing that hard and quick. Yeah. <laughs> So you can see what I'm doing there. You Italian scum! If you will destroy you! Uh, you know what, we could probably put these on fives now. Do another five on there. Oh, there we go, boys. All right, we have done it. There's no escape for you now, buddy. Bada bye. Yes, yes. At this point, what we can do is uh, move some over here from this one to uh, to that one. And the tank too, where's the tank? Yeah, don't penetrate him too quickly. So now they're starting to get a little bit of a defense set out, I'm not too worried. We're in a pretty dominant position right now, as you guys can tell, I'm sure. Alright, now we start pushing, you know? These guys are already behind the line, they can just go now. Just keep a little line there to make sure that everything stays good. I mean, honestly, this guy's just gonna, he should just go straight to Rome. Well, there's naval invasions coming in. Oh no, they're trying to transport troops. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't be naval invading our, their own country already. Yeah, they're trying to, like, transport troops across. That's funny. So many, so many factories, I can't handle it. You put five on there. Um, put frickin' more, more on the boats. More, more battleships. I need more battleships. Um, I want more, I want more, more mechanized, more mechanized. We got... Oh, man. We better make use of what we can before we, you know, lose some of it in the... The peace conference, but who knows when that's going to be, you know? Oh, what happened? There you go. Okay. Mm. 
Alright, so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to say over here and just go all the way to Naples and then we can re, you know, reevaluate what the situation should be, what our things should be. Romania capitulate, jeez man. Everyone is just, uh, you know, Mussolini was, I know, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I know, I actually talked about that sometime recently. I was like telling people um, that uh, Mussolini was a socialist at first and then it was actually, I believe, Italy's unwillingness to join the war. He saw it as like an opportunity to bring glory to to Italy, and then all, most of the socialists were anti-war, you know. Um, or no, yeah, most of the socialists were anti-war. No, because, no, the country was not anti-war, sorry. Uh, obviously the country was in the war. Um, and most of the socialists, I believe, if I remember correctly, most of the socialists were anti-war. Um, and he was like, what are you guys talking about? We need to bring like glory to our to Italy's name, um, and he didn't agree with that one issue of socialist like policy or whatever socialist beliefs their platform. So he's like, "Screw you guys! I'm not being a socialist anymore." And then basically was you know the founder of his type of you know Nazi Nazism Nazism you know, which uh, which is what Hitler sort of modeled himself after. So. Uh, and Franco to that ex to that uh, for that matter. So, yeah. So I don't know. It's just it, it is certainly true. Um, uh, it's certainly interesting. But but yeah. It's a, it was he was originally socialist, and then because of the so fact that he had different beliefs about war and its purpose, and loved like the theatrical aspect of war, which is completely ridiculous to say, obviously. But you know, that's kind of how he thought. Of it. He loved like the parades, the military parades, putting on a show and that sort of thing. Not putting on a show just because for the theatrical purposes of that it doesn't you know but because of like the almost propaganda effect it had he he was um he uh yeah and yeah, there were other stuff there was other stuff too certainly but um i think it also you know had to do with he didn't think that the socialist like policies were that effective com uh, as effective as he necessarily wanted he thought he was like i could do this better you know um they weren't in charge during that time i don't believe but it was like he could start. He started. He started being like, "Oh, I don't think I'm agree with all this stuff." Uh, yeah. But he, I believe, if I remember correctly, at least, he was. Um, not only was he like a socialist leader, he was a editor, I think, for a socialist newspaper. Like he was um, in like um, he was in the press industry. You know, um, he was in press, and it's so you know like weird how. From that, he managed to become a dictator, a military dictator. From being in the press, you know, it's it's certainly strange. Um, he was like the yeah, like the I'm pretty sure it was the editor of a major, like socialist newspaper, and then, and then he stopped being socialist and was like, screw you guys, and started basically basically started not Nazi, you know, Nazism and uh, fascism. And it's, uh, I guess not Nazism, because Nazism is specifically like Nazis in Germany, but fascism, I guess, you know, like the modern iteration of um, fascism in, in his own fashion, you know, he created Mussolini and fascism uh, in a response to stopping, you know, changing his mind about so uh, socialism. So really interesting, actually. Um, but yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, what do I got going on here? I almost always go this side because infantry, like look, like for instance, look at this: all infantry and motorized and mech organization plus ten. That's huge. All the motorized and mechanized, which we're going to be using. Uh, I mean, this is tanks in a really good way as well. But come on, all infantry. Let's go with this. It is 42 though. We have new stuff to do. I don't know. I'm still doing this stuff. This, these things. Hmm. They're starting to try. They're trying to resist, but they can't. You can't resist me, you scum. If we can take to this river, that'd be good. I mean, it's like two, two tiles away. Most of the area there. <laughs> How long until they start? Let's take a look. Oh, that's really nice. It actually has like this little golden outline for the major powers now. And also, wait, wait, wait. Is South Africa actually a... Wait, what's the gold ring about? Is that not a major member thing? No, never mind. It's not because Belgium certainly isn't. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought that was like the the British flag. I don't know why British the or the Indian British Raj flag. You know what I'm trying to say? But no, because uh, it looks kind of like India, so like the orange or whatever. I don't know. Uh, no. Um, also, though, like, wait a minute. So, UK is the only fa faction member in the Allies. Mm, makes me think. Um, so Italy is the last one left in the Axis, which should make a peace deal happen, a conference happen, I think, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But it does it by faction now, right? So you can peace out the faction. We'll still be or Japan, but who cares, right? It's so nice that Japan's in a separate faction now, because in reality, they weren't really on the same page as, like, Italy and Germany. They were in the Axis, kind of, but they, uh, you know, officially, but they weren't really involved in the same way as uh, Italy and Germany were linked together in Hungary. Um, yeah, I noticed the red there in Britain, D.C. Um, but yeah, so uh, you asked, though, 77% is the answer to your question. Um, they are pretty close to capitulation. Once we get, yeah, once we get Naples and, like, Palermo and, you know, just get further down, they'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, there's red down there. Which sucks, but... And right up here, yeah. Two different reds. That's the UK, obviously. Uh, also, Greece is eating Albania, apparently. They want it, at least. And Yugoslavia wants uh, Bulgaria. We'll see how that goes in the peace deal, actually. And the peace deal is going to be weird. Three-way split. Or, yeah, no, wait. Three-way split, yeah. Because Soviets, us, allies, of Germany and Italy and all those other miners. <laughs> To be honest, I think we should maybe do, like, let's do this one for now. Let's finish up some of this research stuff. Take Naples already. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Hold on. You know what I'm not doing? Uh, Freaking get rid of this army for now. We can bring them back later. Get them all on this. And 24 and 24, perfect split of our troops. Cut him, cut him, cut him. Yeah, let's go. Get ready for the squish, boys. Can I get some poggers in chat, please? Squish. Squish. Squish and yeah. All right. We have squished them. Oh, shit. Oh, because Naples. Oh, and we got, like, nothing. And, uh, at least capitulated. All right, well, here we are, boys. Um... What in the heck is happening? Oh, a lot has happened already because we are so far down. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's look, everyone. <laughs> this is annoying. Um, so um, they taken Petsamo. Got no clue. Where they just don't care. They're gonna puppet Finland. They're gonna pep, pep, puppet Poland. Um, they're liberating and satelliting Czechoslovakia. They're puppeting Denmark. Soviet unions are getting a ton of stuff. UK is changing Romania to a democracy. Soviet Union is then satelliting Bulgaria. Oh, no. Soviet Union is trying to do my strat. Just have a million Soviet puppets, you know? Common turn, uh, or, you know, communist puppets. Not fair, dog. We need to... We're going to have to take those from you and turn them into our communist puppets. <laughs> They're going to have so many puppets in Eastern Europe. It's going to be like the Eastern Bloc early. <laughs> and we're going to see how we can break that. Allies are going to be powerful, too. So then Italy will be democracy. I don't like that. Then they're going to liberate Ethiopia, Libya, Slovakia. They're going to... Uh, Soviet Union is going to puppet the German Reich. Satellite Austria. Take Somaliland. Satellite Czechoslovakia. You already did that, didn't you? Um, strange. Greater Hungary puppet. Oh, my God. Albania, Zara. You're taking directly... All of what the UK is like, uh, 
Oh my god. And then the democratic German or democratic Italy that's getting released is going to freaking take most of Oh my god, that's super annoying. Dude, dude, that's annoying. The democratic Italy that is released as a democracy is taking up What is happening? I'm so confused. No, I need this. I need Oh my god, it's so expensive. Why is it so expensive? Yo, yo, why is that 341? What the fudge? Why is that 550? Y'all, well, I'm confused. What is going on here? I can't take Milan. That's in Lombardy. No, 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 clear, clear. Yo, why the fudge is it? Oh, hold on, hold on. Why is it so expensive? Yo, this is hot garbo. Can't even take Sicily. What? I can take Piedmont. Yo, this is BS. Yeah, I'm gonna take Piedmont. Piedmonte. It's a good good for the resources. Yeah, it's really weird. Why is everything so freaking expensive? Well, cuz I don't know, like so I'm sort of thinking long term what I want to own is I want to own Piemonte and maybe all of like this southern Italy chunk actually. This is a pretty good way to divide it uh, for future reference. We can't take it now, obviously. But like all of like Naples and Sicily and Sardinia, you know, uh, restoring the Spanish Empire. It's, and it's you know, with the, Na you know, ne I keep saying, you know, because I can't think of what I'm trying to say. The Neapolitan kingdom under our control, you know. I keep saying, you know, I need to stop that. Um, with freaking Naples and Sicily, the kingdom of two Sicilies will be ours once more, you know. Installing the Spanish Empire there. I mean, the Spanish communist state there, of course. I'm just kidding. But that would be super fun. You have the freaking big old Spanish direct control along the southern part of the boot. And then northern Italy, which is really like uh, the core of Italy anyways. Like this strip right along here. Tuscany and Latium and stuff there. That'll be a puppet eventually of ours. With Benedo too, uh, Piedmont though I do think I want to take because I'm gonna I'm planning on taking the so the southern part of France and it makes sense to take Piedmont as the furthest extreme of that like sort of the border between us and our Italian state moving into that so we have more coastline I think that's good so I'm gonna I'm gonna take that like you had said I'm not gonna take history we can't that's all we can do let's be honest um this sucks freaking can't even take that. Oh my god, what can we even do? Wait, there's nothing we can do. I'm mad. That's really annoying. I don't even know what Europe is gonna look like in a second. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> oh man. Okay. What is happening? What is going on here? Yo, this is a weird Europe. Yo, freaking Germany. Look at this. Germany is the Socialist Republic of Germany. They're in the common turn. Yo, the freaking Soviet Union is just ridiculous look at this faction hold on hold on, hold on. let's go faction mode. look at faction map mode oh my god i didn't even get the full extent of what was going on holy crap look at this it's so it's almost it's almost perfectly divided in half if you took out switzerland and me and like turkey and sweden and lithuania and ireland it would be almost perfectly divided in half i couldn't really think of a better division to put it in half like italy and yugoslavia and romania and greece and france and belgium and netherlands and norway 
all against a bunch, like a million <laughs> freaking Soviet puppet states. Look at how many Soviet puppets it is. They puppeted Denmark, Germany, Poland, Czechoslovak or you know Czech Republic and Slovakia, uh, or no Czechoslovakia and no Czech Czech Republic, Slovakia, Austria, Hungary and Bulgaria, and Poland. Did I say Poland? All puppeted. <laughs> Holy crap! And then on the other side you have Italy is a ally. They're not actually a puppet. Yugoslavia is an ally. There, Romania is an ally. Greece is an ally. Uh, what about Croatia? Croatia is also an ally. The British took some land. Man, what is going on? <laughs> this is going to get real interesting. I can tell you that right now. This is such a... It's only 1942. Jeez. We're going to have like a World War 2.5 right now. Oh yeah, Libya and Ethiopia. Yeah, you're right. That's true. I'm not gonna bother conquering them right now. Maybe later. But yo, we're gonna have World War 2.5 because it's not even like into the Cold War yet. It's just basically all gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be full on common turn versus allies. I'm pretty sure they're gonna declare um, on each other at some point here. There's. It's no way it's gonna boil over into con not gonna boil into it over. Bleh not going to boil over into a conflict. Yo, this is crazy. I'm super pumped to see what's going to happen here. I got no clue what's going to happen. Oh, we're still... Yeah, that's right. Wait, what? Oh, that's funny. We have three different factions in the... In the war. No, we have four different factions in the war here. <laughs> I forgot about these guys. Yeah. I don't care about Japan. I'm not going to worry about that ever. It's 42, 42. That means we get new mechanized uh, equipment stuff. Artillery, artillery is more important. You do that. The UK did. They took Zara. They didn't take Dalmatia. That's a. Uh, that's Croatia. There's just one state, Croatia, right next to Yugoslavia. No way that'll turn into something ugly. Um. Oh shit, man. I don't know. So I didn't get nearly as much out of that as I was hoping. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Why did this not get a pop up? Weird. What did. Wait, what? It's build it. What is happening? Uh, what is going on? Yo, is this broken? I think that's broken. All this stuff is broken. Um, I need to go back to my pre-wartime consumption rates. Start pulling back on lots of this stuff. That goes down. That goes down. Do we have all our stuff filled? Nope, we don't need the fighters all to be filled, but we need more stuff back. Uh, oh, definitely don't need all that. Remember, we just had five before. All right, cool. We still got uh, factories out of that, actually, but not as much as we had been occupying. I, man, I still think that the peace system in this game is pretty much hot trash. Um, I, as much as I love a lot of stuff about this game, needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of work. Um, it really does. Like, you should let, there, there should be an option if I'm occupying all this land, all this land literally, yeah, not all of it, but 70% of Italy, I should be able to refuse to give up the land, it, and it leads to war, sure, but I'm, I was ready to do that. Well, maybe not completely ready, but still, I, you should be able to do that. You should be able to say, I refuse to let up the land, I have occupied it, it is mine now, and if you want to take it from me in a peace deal, you can take it in a war. 
Something like that would be super nice, you know? You know? Well, I mean, pretty much now is going to come down to war with the allies. Um, we could go to war with the common turn now. That's not really a viable option, I don't think. Everyone that borders us now is an ally. Uh, the common turn are going to be close behind. You know, obviously, they're huge and going to be scary as F. But, um, but Italy and France are allies, so... Two-year anniversary is coming up, yeah. June 6th. So, yeah, like three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. Oh, man. I have stuff to do tomorrow that I've been putting off for, like, all week. Oh. You know, I'm gonna hire this guy. Why, why not? No. We should, uh. You know what we should do? We should, we should hire more infantry. We need to start training a new army. We're gonna need more eventually. Might as well do it now. Um, how many tanks do we have? Not enough. Well, that's bad. I think it's worth it. Go for a full on, like, 20. I know, low manpower. Extend the Maginot line seems super useful now. Hmm. Parti radical. Huh. I'm curious what's gonna happen next. Anything could happen. As far as I'm concerned. You're just gonna send me stuff? Sure, I guess. As long as Switzerland doesn't join, it's going to make it a lot easier to just take out Italy, you know, uh, just take out Italy in one fell suit with one army while we focus on the French with two directions on the other side. That should be really easy, you know. Having Piedmont is super good for attack, you know, for tactical and strategic purposes. Super good. Super Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. All right, um... The new city expansion for post war I don't know. I feel like that's kind of getting out of the focus of the game, and then I don't know. I don't think that's really within the scope of the game. I don't. I'm not interested in stuff like that. I don't think. I'm like, yeah, whatever. That'd be a cool separate game. I think. I, I think it's not well suited for this game. Uh, well, that's not even true. I think the politic. The political mechanics and the political dipl diplomatic mm, machinations of the game, <laughs> machinations, um, the diplomatic, like, systems of the game are well suited to that. I don't think the war aspect necessarily would be interesting in the context of that stuff. Um, and I don't play this game really for the, the political stuff as much as I do just for the front lines combat, you know? Both certainly have their roles, but... Hmm... Okay, let's go to speed 5. No, I think a lot of people do have your preference, though. It's certainly not... You're certainly not alone. I've heard that. 
I've seen that uh, same thing we said other places. It's just not, I just not my thing. Okay, we. It was weird. It wasn't like they didn't actually have everything shown. Like, what is going on here? Super. Com like, what is going on here? This is weird. I think my game is bugged. You know what? I actually think this is a this is a good place to end the stream. Um, I had told myself I was gonna end this one a little earlier, and this has only been it's about about three hours. I think it's a good length of the stream. I think it's bugging out a little bit. So. Um. Yeah, I think Hearts of Iron 4 is supposed to be focused on more, though. You know, it's... it's The older games were were literally called, you know, war games rather than um, grand strategy games, necessarily. They were called war games. Hearts of Iron 2 and stuff was called a, a war game, you know. It's focused purely on the war aspect, the front lines, general stuff. In the tradition of board... Tabletop board game style war games. That sort of thing. That's been around since the 50s and 60s, as long as there's been suburbs, basically, uh, for people to sit around in houses at on Saturday nights uh, at 8 p.m. drinking beers together. You know, um, the war game genre, war gaming has been a thing uh, a lot longer than video games, even. I mean, not a lot longer, but a little longer than video games, and uh, and Hearts of Iron, at its core, in my opinion, is meant to be, and is still a war game in that tradition focus on the frontline combat maneuvering tactics stuff like that um and that's one reason i really like it it just focuses on that one aspect and, and that's one reason why i really like hearts of iron 3 in some ways more than this game because hearts of iron 3 politics hardly matter at all there's not too many ways to alter the course of history and i like that actually because you feel like you're part of the bigger picture and you feel like you're just able to focus on just the war you know germany's going to come for you if you're france you just got to focus on the micromanaging parts. And I like that. And this game still has that. But I do kind of think that I am in the camp that the politics and the diplomacy more waters down the game than necessarily adds to it. I think it's really cool that there's all these alternate history things. But I think it may be too much emphasis is put on that and rather than the actual, like, uh, tactical mechanics. Like, the biggest tactical thing they've really added to the game was adding, you know field marshal army groups and adding the blitz spearhead attack which doesn't really do much and i don't i don't like that i wish i had more stuff in that vein but more impactful anywho that's a good uh, that's a decent little rant to end on i'm not really angry i'm just saying my opinion i don't think that uh, i you know it seems like spartan cats um enjoys the diplomatic uh, part of the game which is there's nothing wrong with that it's totally cool if that's what you're into. And there's a lot of mods that really flesh that out, like Millennium Dawn and other stuff. Um, and I think that's cool too, if you're into it. But it's not my thing. I'm just into the war aspect. Just the tactical, strategic component is really what I enjoy and find appealing. Um, if I wanted to have the diplomatic aspect, I would, I'd prefer to go play like Vicky 2 or, uh, or U4. I don't know. But certainly, certainly not a like a terrible thing for the game itself that they've added it i don't think it uh needs to take away that's the thing i don't think that the political aspect they've added i'm gonna look for someone to host by the way i um, don't think i'm just sitting here um the i don't think the political aspect necessarily necessarily takes away from the war aspect i don't think they're mutually exclusive however i think they have focused on on the two in a way that is a little mutually exclusive like i don't think they have put proper balance into both sides of it. I think they focused on one more than the other. Uh, the political aspect is what they focus on, really, that part of the game, which makes it more of a grand strategy game, less of a a war game. And I wish it was a little more, had a little more of that war game focus still in it. But different strokes for different folks, and it's not necessarily the right answer. All right, cool. Well, if you're watching on YouTube um, or on Twitch, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream here. If you're watching on YouTube, please leave a like and subscribe for more. If you're watching on Twitch, thanks for watching. Thanks for the new followers. I'll read them out real quick. We didn't have that many. I oh, know we had four new followers. Not bad. Hepalarir, Arlanslave, Minionologist, and Clan Contractor. Contractor. Um, 
thank you all for the follows. Um, we're going to go and host someone. We're going to go and host Rai, my buddy Rai Spellfang. Um, he's a cool dude. And other than that, see you guys later. Bye-bye.